Thanks, Henry. And as October draws to a close, it's important to remember some of the important causes of the month. It's still Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I'm here with a local breast cancer survivor to talk about early warning signs and some statistics and her own personal experience with breast cancer. Katie Summers Piles is here with the mm -hmm. American Cancer Society. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. And so the first thing I want to talk about is what is Breast Cancer Awareness Month? Uh, breast Cancer Awareness Month is an annual time to um, to reflect on breast cancer and prevention and to promote mammograms for early detection of cancer. And so can you tell us a little bit about your story? Uh, yeah, I was diagnosed in 2017, so I'm therefore a six-year survivor. Congratulations. Thank you. So um, I noticed an abnormality and then I went to the doctor and got checked out and I was stage two and did my treatments and, and I'm here thanks to early detection of mammograms. So that leads me into my next question. Why is something like this month bringing awareness to this? Why is it important? Um, it's very important because um, early detection um, will help us with early uh, treatment plans and catching it early because cancer can be survivable and, and there's hope for survivorship if you have early detection with the mammograms and to follow up with your doctor. And Speaking of that early detection and preventable measures that mm -hmm. we can do, what are some things for people sitting at home, mm -hmm. if, if they're curious what they can do, what, sure. what can they do? Um, what they can do is keep an active life, um, eat good diets, uh, drink in moderation. Um, if you're taking any kind of hormonal uh, therapy or oral contraceptives, um, follow up with your doctor and ask if there's any risk of taking those. And can you tell us a little bit maybe about the history of this month, maybe when it began, when this observance sure. began? Um, that began in about 1985 where uh, Betty Ford um, was a breast cancer survivor herself and she um, she had kicked off for the week for the long event and um, she's a breast cancer survivor so. Amazing. It's, yeah, every month or every annual year of October, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And my last question, <laughs> it might be a little bit more personal, oh, but no? what does it mean for you to be able to spread your message to other people and maybe help somebody in the future? Um, I'm, I'm a good advocate for others. I like to, um, you know, to help, you know, talk about mammograms and early yeah. detection, how important it is because um, it can affect anybody. Uh, the median age is about 62, oh, wow. between 62 to 45. Um, in some instances, it's, it can happen to people that are younger than 45. Right. So I'm always there for anybody who needs help talking about that and anybody that may be scared or, or anything like that. Definitely. They're in my shoes at one time, so. Definitely. Yeah. Well, I just want to say thank you so much <laughs> for coming you. on and sharing your story thank and you. spreading this awareness to everybody out there. We really, really appreciate <laughs> thank you. it. We'll Pleasure have more you. information about Breast Cancer Awareness Month and the American Cancer Society over <laughs> on our website, but we'll have more on Daybreak coming up after this break.